I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully. Hello and welcome to the Spoilt Milk Movie Podcast. Here at Spoilt Milk, we like to discuss, dissect and destroy guilty pleasure movies. And then we decide whether the film is truly spoilt milk or whether it's ascended into a fine, luxurious cheese. So without further ado, let's go. Warning. This podcast is full of spoilers for the title feature, and there's bad language from the start. If you've never seen the film, or you're offended by bad language, you have been warned. Hello and welcome to this mini episode of the Spoilt Milk Movie Podcast, where today we're going to do our little um, predictions of what we think is uh, <laughs> what's going to be good in the upcoming year. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. Is is good? Is good? Is good. So we've all picked five films that we're looking forward to, um, probably for different reasons. So we're just going to go around, say what we're looking forward to, why we're looking forward to it, and then question each other on why that is. Is that good with you guys? Like Fun? interrogation question. Like, yeah. Why do you like that? What is your reasoning? <laughs> oh, it's so loud. Who are you? Here is a preview is a of 2019. Preview. It doesn't contain any Sean Bean. Lots of lovely films to keep you having fun. If you're not excited, go and get a gun. <clears throat> and take it to a shooting gallery. Don't hurt anyone. Right on that one, you're going first. Ah, oh, shit. Well, What's your it, first film? <laughs> it may be obvious, considering I'm wearing a certain top right now. Right, okay. If you yeah. fucking say Star Wars. Christmas! No. Uh, yeah, Star Wars. What do you mean if you say Star Wars? It's all it bangs on about. <laughs> so... Of course he'll say it. <laughs> Star Wars, episode nine, the end of this current part trilogy. It's going to be amazing. I love Last Jedi. I know some idiots don't like it as much as some people prefer The Force Awakens because they think it's more magical. It well, is. It's, fucking it's idiots. far more magical <laughs> than The Last Jedi. I like Last, Last Jedi. But it's just I've not, not seen it. it just doesn't give me the feels. And some people are idiots who haven't seen it. Have you seen either of them? Force Awakens or Um I've seen the first one with a girl. Mm-hmm. Um but I haven't The Girl on the Train. Is that what you mean? Snakes on a train. <laughs> <laughs> um with um Kylo Ren like mm. young Snape. What and you were just not bothered then about seeing the next one? Um no, the next one. It came out around Christmas time and then when all my friends went to go see it. I was actually cooking Christmas dinner for them all, so... Oh, that's nice, then. Pieces of shit. Mm. But that was, like, 13 months ago. Yeah. Have you not... Just I've, not I've bothered? I've been, re- been really busy. <laughs> Watch, <laughs> watching busy the person. Yeah. yeah, watching the fucking happening. <laughs> well, let me tell you why it's going to be amazing. It's got... The, one of the writers on it, on top of Abrams, is um, the guy who wrote the screenplay for Argo. Oh, right. He did the main story behind it. And, I mean... I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of Abrams, but he is a good filmmaker Mm. and he has done some good films I like. And for its flaws, Force Awakens is really good. I think its flaws are just the story is not enough different, which is what I loved about The Last Jedi. Do you worry where they're going to pick it up from? Because yeah. they did set up Snoke as being this like big bad and then killed him off. I kind of felt like Rian Johnson, Ryan Johnson, however you say it, was just like, I'm just going to dig you a hole and then fuck off. No, Ryan Johnson, what are you... Who's he, cause it's a... the The guy in the first one who like is the big head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the oh. big hologram guy, yeah. yeah. Like Zordon from... Yeah, kind of. okay. but in a chair. Mm. Rather than a floaty head, he's a, okay. He's like bossing uh, Snape around. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. baby Snape. He's a really good um, <laughs> like um, extra on the the DVD with Ryan Johnson. It's about the making of the Last Jedi, and he <laughs> says his his thought process for like writing this film was, what was the hardest point? What's the biggest challenge for each one of these characters, and how can I portray that? Not just he wasn't just thinking about. He was thinking like, what's the 
hardest thing and like the going to thing. a casino <laughs> <laughs> that was the well, hardest thing to watch in that film no that was for um flynn to see like you know to fight the temptation of just running away to be in something like that mm. that was that was one of those things so <clears throat> but the, 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 i'm not so worried about snoke i'm more worried about the fact that it was originally going to be leia was going to be the focus of you know like han was the focus yeah, of the first they all one had their own film. um luke was the focus of the second and then leia was meant to be but chewy and i i believe yeah i know yeah. I, I hope chewy gets the focus in this <laughs> one but like i i was really looking forward to leia training um ray in mm. the force because it showed in the last jedi that she was force sensitive mm. but she, didn't she die amazing. though well in real life in yeah. the film she doesn't yeah, but how the fuck are they going to do it in real life if she's dead? Well, yeah, it. well, this is the thing. I mean, in the film, even, if you're dead in real life. Yeah, so they've, they've probably had to rewrite it. Um, are they just doing the thing that we were on about before, where they're just like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's the same person. Yeah, <laughs> Danny DeVito's going to be <laughs> Danny DeVito wearing a really shit cardboard cut-out mask over his face. No, just with two cinnamon swirls on his head. <laughs> I'd watch that. I'm pretty sure that exists somewhere. I feel Danny DeVito has dressed up as Princess Leia before. I don't know. I hope so. I hope he was just in the gold bikini. (laughs) (laughs) You have weird wishes. So Star Wars Episode Nine, featuring Danny DeVito. End of that. That it's going to be the most. Yeah, it's going to be the most popular film of the year, and it comes out two weeks after Wonder Woman two. I hope that. Are oh, Ewoks in it? I'm gonna go next because we might as well go in some kind of circle, um, and because you've it's done a triangle, whatever. What because <laughs> you've done a big film, I'm gonna do a big film as well. Uh, Avengers Endgame. Yes, I'm so glad you said this. Katty, have you? Are you not bothered? Um, I've not watched the last Avengers. You've not what? What Infinity War? Yeah, the, Why? the one with the big blue guy. Purple. Purple guy. Well, how didn't you? Sorry, did you get like it coming back in your ears then? No. No. Oh, I just got my own voice coming back like a few seconds later. How have you not seen <laughs> Infinity War? Um, I don't know. Have you seen I'm all too like, busy the rest coming in the streets? <laughs> have you seen all the rest going in up the to streets? It? Like dancing in the streets. <laughs> yeah. like, have you seen like Black Panther and Thor Ragnarok? Not Rock seen and stuff? Black Ca- Panther. <laughs> Panther. Black Panther. <laughs> um, not seen Black Panther. I've not seen Thor Ragnarok. Um, I'm trying to think of the last one that I watched. Uh, I've seen Ant Man. I've not seen the second Ant Man. Yeah, it's a bit shit. You don't need to. Uh, um, you might go. No, I like I've it. not I seen like the Justice it. League. Right. In Justice League, I've not seen the Justice League. Oh, that's it's DC not related. Anyway, so. Different universe. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a thing. So, what, are you just not bothered about these films? Um, or? I was, and then I just kind of like fatigue. Yeah, I didn't Mm-mm. like. I, I blame Richie. Mm. he's an outdoorsy person he makes me do things outside <laughs> instead of sitting in a cave and watching films <laughs> do but you ever call him Shane Ritchie Shane Ritchie yeah. no I don't think he'd like that <laughs> he wouldn't even know who Shane Ritchie is do you oh, ever right. call him Richie Rich um, no sometimes I full name him if he's been bad Ooh. what's his full name don't, Richard don't... <laughs> oh, that makes sense <laughs> but yeah I'm properly looking forward to Endgame I think it's going to be Exceptional. If it's anything like Infinity War, which was ridiculous, I would see that seven times at the cinema. You you saw it more than me. I was mm-hmm. I was, like, I, was I was going to watch my second show, and you're like, I'm on my fifth. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. Any time I just had some spare time in the day, I was like, I'm going. I'm just going to go and watch it again. Because um, I was like, Yeah, fuck it. It's so good, and it flies by. To say it's anyway. It's not about Infinity War. I think Endgame is going to be crackers i've got no yeah. idea what they're going to do well i do have an idea but i'm hoping that they don't do that um i'm just I looking think, forward to seeing what how much what is it 2008 it started so over 10 mm. years over 10 years well yeah about 10 years of yeah because they had um, the 10 in the marvel yeah, side didn't they 10 years of films and they're all connected and they led to infinity war and it wasn't terrible mm. is Mind-boggling. So, anyone What about the Fast and Furious? <laughs> Leading up to... Was it Helen Mirren? I saw Edit. the pure joy in your face as you said that. Have you got fucking Hobbs and Shaw in your list of films coming up, the Fast and Furious spin-off that was filmed in Donny? Was it? <laughs> mm. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, didn't you hear about The Rock and Jason Statham were in Yorkshire? Fuck I'm sure off. they were in Ponty as well. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I'm sure they were in Ponty as well. And they like came over and oh, like at Hull. <laughs> haven't they added I- Idra Elba? Idris Elba. I- I- Idris Elba, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, don't know. I'm pretty sure he's in this Hobson Shaw Fast and Furious <laughs> bastardization of a spin off. Oh, piece no. Of shit. Do you know that the character that Jason Statham plays killed one of the people in the group of Fast and Furious. Do you know they're always banging on about it's a family, it's a family. Yeah. He killed one of their mates, so their family, and now he's a good guy. And they're like, and he killed a, a guy called Han Solo. <laughs> I don't know how I know all this, but the... Um, family is all about forgiveness, yeah, Cham. But they just forgive him, and like now he's a nice guy, and they're like, oh, he's all right, this guy. Like, if, if he killed the hobo... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we won't be sad. Forgive him seconds after he's done it. Well, anyway, Avengers Endgame. I don't think I need to say anymore. It's going to be sick. Catty. Um, Zombieland 2. Nice. Oh, yeah. Do we know if original cast are coming back? Um, Woody Harrelson's in it, yeah. Woody Harrelson. That was on my list, but almost on my uh, list, but I took it off hoping someone else would put it on. I can't wait. Yes. Like, apparently the, the zombies are going to are gonna have like evolved a little bit. All right. Don't know how they're going to do humans. it. <laughs> yeah, they're just Three killing balls. humans. Like one, two, three. <laughs> Three, <laughs> Three right long balls. Yes. Oh no, the zombies are teabagging us. <laughs> but I'm hoping, because obviously the first one we had, um, Bill Murray as a, came- uh, a cameo. Mm. I'm hoping it's going to be like Jeff Goldblum. I've oh, heard he's coming yes. back. I've heard Bill Murray's coming back to do he's another... Dead. Yeah, but did you see him Zombie. Die? Because yeah, yeah. they thought it was a zombie, Ooh. and then they killed him. Maybe he's like evolved into a maybe the zombie talking talk, zombie. Yeah. I'm worried about this film. I want it to be good because I liked the first one, but I'm I'm a bit worried. I'm not because I don't think you can really go wrong with it. Because mm. it's it's just going to be tongue in cheek. It's just going to be ridiculous. But you know, you were talking about Marvel fatigue. I feel like Walking Dead is almost hammered my love of zombies out of me and i'm like i don't I don't know how i feel about zombie films anymore that's why you should have stopped watching the walking dead when I they have. got shit i, I, I stopped watching up. walking dead at yeah. like season season four or something yeah, i was yeah. just like this is just tedious mm. i'm wasting my life mm. well, cool. I, I stuck with it i've stopped now stopped about two series ago but I'm, I'm looking forward to Zombieland because I'm hoping it, it does... Because it was pretty interesting what it did with zombies then. Mm. And I'm hoping they do something else, which again but makes it interesting again. That's all, mm. all you do with any genre. I mean, you can wear anything out, but if you do just something a little bit different, then... Yeah, because if they brought Heisenberg back, he'd probably be like, since the last time I've come up with more rules, and he'd be like, always triple tap, and it'd just probably do the same thing again mm. and you'd have a new list of rules and instead of ending at a theme park it'd end at a water park water park <laughs> yeah and they'd just do the crazy same crazy golf thing. course yeah but uh zombie land then yep do we know when too? that's coming out uh probably some, late it's on. sometime this year i've not seen a trailer for it yet no. so yeah, mm. a lot of the ones I was looking at there's oh, no October. trailers oh. or anything for the one like there's no trailer for star wars um mm. So oh, I, should, I should go on to my next one, which is, and I'm really hoping it comes out this year because it's been planned, but not heard anything, and they've changed like directors and writers a couple of times, so cheating? it might get in, might get delayed. No, it's still planned for 2019, so I'm counting it. Masters of the Universe. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, mm. it was originally. I wasn't excited when it was McG who was meant to be directing Ooh. it. I was like, oh, but he's out. Some two unknown people, um, I wrote them down because I'd never heard of them. Adam and Aaron Nee are meant to be directing. Never heard of them. No. But the writers on it um, are two guys who wrote on both um, Iron Man mm. and the newest Men in Black film, International, which mm. looks pretty interesting in itself. Mm. The trailer so, didn't win me over on that one. Yeah. But that could have come up this year. Okay. But yeah, I just, I just, I mean, this is something from like my childhood that I just want. And as much as I love the Dolph Lundgren one, it's not really. How do you think they can do Masters of the Universe well? Like, what kind of model would you would you mm. expect them to use to 
to do a He-Man film mm. well. It's going to have to be practical effects though, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. What, like those adverts? <laughs> I'd love it if they looked like that, if they looked like the skeleton. <laughs> no, but honestly, what, what kind of vein do you see them doing this in? Because they can't do it seriously. It's going to be a bit tongue-in-cheek, right? It, it's got to be a bit, like, hand. Mm. Like, do you think they'll do, like... Do you think they'll do it all in, is it Eternia or whatever? Or do you think they'll bring them to Earth again? I think it'd be interesting if you treated it a bit like Jumanji or something like that, where you're right. going into a world that you know isn't real. Mm. And it's one person who's having to deal with all this. They're trying to apply you know, our logic mm. to this other universe that just doesn't have the same logic. Because then you can have a lot more fun with, I mean, you can actually have Wildcat in there. The, mm. the thing that turns wow, into... Wow, cat. Wow, is it? <laughs> is wow, it? cat. <laughs> wow, cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, is, well, because it's wild... Is it just called... I can't remember what it's called, but it turns yeah, I into think battle it's cat. wild cat, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and then it co- turns into battle cat when he's... Mm. Does I have the power? And you could have she and everything. I still yeah. haven't watched the Netflix animated series she That's meant to be out now, I think. Um, I didn't know that was I? a thing. Yeah, they, they redid it. They did it more in a style of, you know, a bit of a rounder animation rather than the more real, but it looks interesting. Who would you cast as He-Man? Danny oh. DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> Danny DeVito is Grildor if there ever was one. Yeah. And Grildor doesn't even exist. <laughs> so would it be Orko? Would Orko. you have that kind of... Danny DeVito would be Orko, yeah. Right. Just cut off Danny DeVito's legs, put him on a bit of string. What, in real life? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and then like have him floating around like, ah, I got no legs! <laughs> <laughs> So who would you have as He-Man? Oh, I don't know. That's that's a good question. Because I'm thinking like Dwayne Johnson straight away. Because it's just who else is that big? Yeah. But um, what's his face? Um, Hemsworth. He could be. Hemsworth. Yeah, Chris mm-hmm. Hemsworth. Charlie Hunman. He's a bit of a. He's, he's a Channing a Tatum dude. could probably. Oh, Channing Tatum. Out. And I reckon if they did Channing Tatum and they had a bit of like you a could dance. Jump Street. <laughs> Like, yeah, tongue in cheek. Because did you hear they were gonna the next Men in Black was gonna be a Men in Black and Twenty One Jump Street crossover? <gasps> that yeah, that and was a canned. much more <sighs> exciting. Yeah. That, that's what they joked about in the the, um, the end of the film. Yeah, mm. the second one. It was. That I was much ace. more excited for Men in Black when it was out. That would have been yeah. amazing. But, so yeah. Masters of the Universe. That, that's me. Oh, yeah. shit. I don't even know what man it. Oh yeah, next one. Us, the new Jordan oh, Peele. Okay. Yes. Film. I'm just so excited for I've, I've I'm ashamed to say this, but I'm only just I've only just got into Key and Peel, like the sketch show stuff. Um because it was on Comedy Central and so I've like watched the first season. I don't even know what this is, so it, you, well do you know that Jordan Peel's part of like a comedy double act? No. Nope. It's just a They're like hail and pace. Sketch show. Yeah. <laughs> like um, uh, Mitchell like and Weblock. <laughs> They're from like the eighties. <laughs> Did you ever watch Mitchell and Weblock? Uh, uh, I know Big of train. it. I know of it through like Peep Show, but yeah, Smack the Pony. No, that um, sounds shite. Fast Show. No. Did you ever have you ever watched a comedy sketch show? Like, um, where I've watched Brass Eye. Brass Eye. <laughs> so so that's, that, that was yeah. more the so like, the, whole thing. The season I've just watched. I don't know if the format's changed. Is they come out? There's an audience. They do a little bit of talking, and then it cuts to like sketches that they've pre. Oh, so like I've that, watched kind of. like um. Fuck with um I know I'm trying to think of what else does this. Uh British ones. Haven't seen any. The guys who did shooting stars. Oh, Vic and Bob. Yeah. I've watched um Reeves and Mortimer. Oh yeah. Yeah, they do like little sketches and stuff. Yeah, it's kinda like that. Um but what's really good is they're they're funny, but they always have like a dark turn to all their little like sketches. And, I mean, Get Out was just ridiculously good. The best film of not last year, but the year before, mm. I'd say. Is, I put a post on our... Um, <laughs> on our Instagram, Instagram <laughs> didn't I, about which was better, Get Out or Hereditary. Um, Get Out won. Yeah, Damn of course right. it did. Because Hereditary is, is bollocks. Dog shite. N- no, it, it isn't. Saggy bollocks in dog shite. I saw people, I think it was in some award show, and they were giving Hereditary like loads of praise and stuff. Mm. Like, people like this film cat and I don't get why. It's because they're fucking hipsters, and they're just <laughs> like, oh, this is, this is like um, a story about um, mental health and people's 
struggle with life and blah 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 no it's shit yeah it's shit it's terrible it's like the modern day ha- the happening I don't know what's wrong with you two <laughs> like, e- everyone like not hipsters like Helen <laughs> O'Hara who works for Empire who's hipster. definitely not hipster a hipster hipster fuck. um she she today on the Empire podcast described it as phenomenal. I'm like, it's how not, are all these um, people thinking it's like this five star film, and you guys are like it's pants? I'm not the only person who thinks it's shit though. Yeah. Like every person that I went to the cinema with that night also think it's shit. Yeah, people, morons. People walked out of the cinema. Yeah, what? morons. That happens all the time in good films. This is an, in this... fact, I see people walk out of good films way more than bad films because so, they just don't get it. What I want to say is, how the fuck has this got a better rating on like um, IMDb and like Rotten Tomatoes than Event Horizon? Yeah, Event Horizon is far better than Event Horizon. No, it yes, it is. And I like Event Horizon, but it isn't. It is. No. It's straight to the point. It's not got some fucking hidden meaning to it. Do you know what? I nearly was going to say one of the films I'm looking forward to is Ari Aster's new film, but I don't know enough about it. And I thought, oh, we'll get talking about Hereditary. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think uh, we need to put a ban on talking about Hereditary in this podcast because it's just, it just angers my blood. Mm. I don't know what's wrong with you two. We'll throw you but out. Yeah, us, what the... we're going to do is we're going to drive you down the road and we're going <laughs> to chop your head off with a telegraph pole if you yeah, don't shut up. That's good with me. <laughs> um, but us, the trailer dropped like last week, I think it is. Mm. Look really, looks really good. Good use of... Uh, I got five on it by... I can't remember what the... The Loonies, is it? Uh, is it The Loonies? I thought... Well, anyway, I don't know. Looks Whatever really interesting. I don't want to say what I think it's about because it might be different just from what we've seen from the trailer. No, but it looks oh, it's going to be about it's going to be about mental health, isn't it? <laughs> um, I don't know. Well, it's a home invasion looking film, but the people invading the home are them. Are them? Mm. And I'm like, where well, that could go? I into. hope it's demons. Mm? Could be demons. What, well, like in Hereditary, pay paymon. <laughs> I It'll be King Paymon. Oh, what if Danny DeVito? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what's your next one? Um, my next one <laughs> is one that this is a, this might be a little bit of a cheat because nothing's been confirmed as mm. of yet. But they're making an uh, "Are You Afraid of the Dark" film. Oh yeah, yeah. no, I think mm-hmm. that is scheduled to be out this year but there's no like synopsis or anything like that there's no trailer there's no giveaways they're making an are you is it going to be like 12 a like house in the clock house where the clock i'm not too sure it's classed as a horror film Mm. um but i'm excited to see what they're going to do with this like is it going to be like goosebumps like Mm. like a kid but not a kid film at the same time Mm. or are they going to go full-blown Disgusting. This feels like something Del Toro would be. Uh, uh, Guillermo Del Toro uh, would well, be. Well, he's already got his own little thing. Oh, is that next year? I didn't have a look at that. What? He's got his own film coming out, and I feel like that might be like an anthology of short stories mm. or something. But yeah, are you afraid? I remember watching that as a kid, loving it. Some I of think the stories are slightly that. too it old. Me for it. Like, did you ever read the books? Um, was it Goosebumps books? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I read those books a lot and I loved it, but I didn't. I never did a Goosebumps TV series, but I I, I preferred like Are You Afraid of the Dark for that sort of the uh, same creepiness that I got from it. I watched it all. Are you fr- like um? Oh, what was it? it was like Point Crime as well or something what the like books? Point Crime. It was like a series of books, yeah. like kind of crime, like for preteens, mm. um, but a bit weird and like Goosebumps, and then Are You Afraid of the Dark TV show, and then. Just got, yeah. I'm... Was Are You Afraid of the Dark? If remind me, was it like Twilight Zone for kids? Was it kind of, yeah. was it different stories every week or multiple stories in one episode? I think it, you, you got two stories <clears throat> per episode, if I can remember rightly. Mm. Um, mm. Or it might have been like two shows back to back of Are You Afraid of That? But it, it was kind of like Twilight is own mm. type thing. Like it was on the same vein as Goosebumps, but some of it was. Some, weirdly, some of it was like more like supernaturally than um, goosebumps. Mm. Like sometimes goosebumps, it were like I don't know, maybe like a bit psychological type thing. But are you afraid of the dark? Were just was, basically are you afraid of the dark? What's around the <laughs> twist? Like a like a weird horror. Yeah, thing. yeah, n- not as bad. I think that mm. was like. 
I just, I for don't... people that were afraid of the dark. <laughs> <laughs> but that was like ghosty stuff, wasn't it, around the twist? Okay. Yeah, but it weren't like okay. ghost ghost stuff, though. And, and that was like an actual series, though, mm. weren't it? Like it you had a storyline and stuff. Same lighthouse. Okay. But like with the other ones, it was like a different thing. And yeah. like it'd be like, oh, big four. Because oh, they were all telling ghosts. stories around the campfire, weren't they? And it yeah. Ended and someone would have to pour on the water for help the campfire. Mm. So that's, have we all done two? We've all done two. Yeah. Do you want to give us your third? All right. Oh, so now I've got to pick my third. Uh, yeah. oh. Um, I really hope someone's got one of the other ones. <laughs> I was hoping that. It's because mine you is between... You can give us your near misses at the end. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll give him my near misses. Um, but, so... but wait till the end. Pick your one. Okay. My one is Godzilla. King of Monsters. Motherfucker. <laughs> well, should I go for... Oh, no, no, no okay. you've done it now. <laughs> I suppose you got backups. Um, yeah, God, I mean, the trailer alone sold me on this. I wasn't sure. I mean, I love the, the Godzilla, the Gareth Edwards Godzilla, and this isn't directed by Gareth Edwards. Mm. Um, so I was like, oh, will I care? It's going to be, might be a shitty sequel, but the trailer itself sold it. It like, looks insane. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Well, the, the whole setup of it is, while it is this, it looks like this big disaster movie, because obviously it is, but mm. even the audio is like, this. Is, these are the scourge to wipe out. This, these are the monsters to fight the infection and we're the infection, so we're mm. going to get wiped out. But the music used in the trailer is like, and this is a beautiful, these are beautiful scenes, like mm. you're watching beautiful scenes of nature, because it is these beautiful large monsters that are... Do you think that'll just be a, a trailer thing, though? That's, a, that's I'm, I'm hoping it's not. It mm. could be, but that whole... If that's the direction we're going in, mm. it, it's more this... A bit art house, a bit different direction, which is what the first Godzilla went in that direction of. We're all going to set it from the point of view of a human, and it's not going to be like... You're not going to see Godzilla for ages, and it's mm. going to come in. and it, it That was the approach that I liked, and... I hope they go with something like that. And I think as well... Um, oh, yeah, the director of this one is the director of Krampus. Oh, is it really? Okay. <laughs> so Ooh. it's going to be that not worry you a bit? Because Krampus was good, but it was very small and contained. Well, the writer as well, he wrote the first Godzilla. He wrote Kong Skull Island. Oh, right, okay. He wrote the TV series for Terror, which I've heard is good. It's about the people going to, like, um, like in the 1800s on a ship to the Antarctic or something like that, and creepy horror things happen. Mm. Um, and he's writing the Game of Thrones spin-off, so people oh, have yeah. a lot of faith behind his writing. So. Oh, okay. That's good. And he's got history with big monsters. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much, yeah. He knows what he's doing. And I mean, yeah, Godzilla and Kong Skull Island, they, they kind of humanised the the big monsters a bit so I'm hoping we do something similar do you know when it's out? no oh but I that trailer does look good though it looks great mm. and it's I do got like Millie Bobby, Bobby Brown, Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but she's being groomed by some weirdo isn't she? Uh, well, yeah you were telling me about this last time weren't yeah. you? Yeah. I hope um, that didn't happen isn't it don't like her a pop star or someone? I don't know yeah it's like a Drake. Pop, like a famous pop star I don't know if it's Drake it might be but it didn't ring a bell. Where does this story come from? Because I've heard it as well. Um, it's literally, she was talk. She was doing an interview and she's like, oh, this guy's been helping me out and we've been talking about boys and he's been, you know, making sure I don't make... And he's like a 30, late 30s, like, rapper or something like that. What? And, like, loads of people, like, loads of parents went online, like, this sounds like grooming. This sounds like everything they... Everything she was saying was like, this is what they warn you about. They about become, your kids talking you, to people on the yeah, internet. It's Drake. Oh, yeah. It is, is, it, it's is, Drake, is it Drake? Yeah. Oh, shit. Fucking it hell. Drake. Millie Bobby Brown, 14, and Drake, 31, text about boys. Yeah. He, so I mean, it like, could be something groovy. completely innocent. Yeah. Yeah. Because isn't Drake boning that right hot girl? Don't know. But would you want someone who's... He might be... Odd. Do you remember that when Usher, like, used to champion Bieber... And, like, when Bieber was 11, he, he was, like, in Usher's videos. And Usher was probably just like, this kid's going to fucking make me some right money. He's probably just doing that. He's probably like, oh, I'll give you some advice. Now sign to my label and I'll make loads of money from you. Does she even sing, though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Apparently she does and raps as well. Yeah. Okay. 
She did like one of those um, rap um, people. Oh, do. the the lip reading. Yeah, not lip reading. Oh, lip sync battles. Yeah, lip sync battle. <laughs> lip reading. She did a rap lip reading battles. Lip sync battle, mm. and everyone's like, "Oh, that's crazy!" And then she got invited back, and she did an actual rap, and people like, Whoa! "Oh, okay." I yeah. prefer lip oh, reading battles. Yeah, didn't she do something about Nicki Minaj or something? Mm-hmm. It's like you are too young to be listening to Nicki Minaj's stuff. <laughs> like <laughs> mum. <laughs> Says you saying eleven is fingering. Twelve. <laughs> oh twelve, sorry. She's way past that. <laughs> <laughs> right, well I'm gonna throw my last suggestion out. I've got two, but I reckon you might do the other. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, Take your gamble. No, fuck it. I'm going to go for it anyway. Uh, it Chapter 2. Motherfucker. Oh, was that, was that one of yours? <laughs> all right, yeah. Well, we all went to see it again, didn't we, at um, Sneaky Experience in Leeds, which was just a lovely night out, wasn't oh, it? A lovely Such night. Such a lovely night out. Oh, shout out to Sneaky Experience. They, they put on a good show. Um, and I just think it's going to be awesome. I think the cast that they've assembled... Is ridiculously good. Mm. I I never thought they'd get Chastain in for yeah. this. Even though the director, is it Andy Muschietti or something, has got previous because he did Mama. You know where she's uh. like, oh, I play bass, boom, 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 boom. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I just um, from seeing the 1991 version or 1990. I I know where the story goes from, well, I say reading the book, listening to the audio book, and how crazy it can go. I'm just wondering where they're going to go with this. Have you seen that they're doing the thing with the um, the big statue? No. Like, um, in the book, there's like a big, um, like, lumberjack statue thing. Oh, maybe I didn't get that far with the audio book, actually. <laughs> Did you not finish the audio book? It's, it's something it's like, long. yeah. It was something like 78 hours. What? Yeah. I had to separate it up into like 12 different bits. And I think I listened to about 30 hours of it. So maybe not. So no, tell me about this. There's like a big lumberjack thing that's like in the middle of the the town. Mm -hmm. And like it starts controlling it and like makes it dance Mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. The only thing is some of the things that I didn't like in the first one was I didn't like the bit with the painting, you know, where the painting came alive. Mm. and chased Why? after Stan. Oh, because it was CGI yeah, the, or? Yeah, it just yeah. looked like a shitty CGI. And the flute lady. Yeah, the flute lady. A lot of people like that though. It was they? like really creepy, yeah. Uh, like that, that woman's face was weird. Uh, it looked like, you know, that picture, that painting of Jesus that that nun ruined <laughs> and then <yes>. repainted. <laughs> That'd be ace if that came out to get them. I love that picture. <laughs> um, no, but I loved like, I loved the bits with Mike at the beginning where... The he's just like hanging in that like meat locker, whatever. Do you remember right at the beginning? The bits with the CGI lady coming out of the painting or whatever, I'm like, Ugh, mm. I'm not bothered about that. But I prefer him just being creepy. So I hope there's more of that. Because I can't imagine adults being scared of things like a painting and stuff. Mm. If a painting were chasing me... <laughs> Jesus wept, I'd be shitting my <laughs> yeah, pants. Yeah, but you can kind of say that about like every shit horror film that's out there. Like, I don't know, name me a shit horror film. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> no, but if you were like, um, I know what you did last summer, you're like, oh, it's a pile of shit. But if someone with a hook was written after me, I'd be scared. But just because if that happened to me in real life doesn't mean that that's it's how It's what's how they portray in the film, which is if it's scary or not a film. Mm. like... A lot of things can can be scary. It's it's just how you do it. If you do the, oh, this beer ball is possessed. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but if it was something like you drank it and it you know it possessed you, and mm. it's something that it taps into a bit of a you know a, a deep seated mm. fear. I think going back to that town mm. would be scary enough anyway. Like, if all this shit's happened to you as a kid and then you're like, shit, I've got to go mm. back now because mm. my mate's been old in fought and we've just sort of fucked off and left him to it and he's been mm. stopping kids from getting eaten and you have to go back and fight a clown that tried to eat your mate. Mm. Well, eat many of your mates. One of it ate your brother. Mm-hmm. And 
Well, I'm hoping that between the last one and this one, because of how well it's done and Bill Skarsgård has got quite a bit of recognition from it, mm. they'll focus more on the clown. It's a weird one because the first one, I quite like that you don't see that much of him, but he was one of the best things about it. So uh, I don't know how I feel. I think... But I'm looking forward to it. The, the thing is with this, it needs to be separated into three films, I think. As much as that is drawing it out mm -hmm. and dragging it on, it might seem. There's so much in that book and there's so much that you could just delve right into and just make absolutely amazing that it'd be a shame to cut some of the stuff out. But then obviously there's some things that you can't put on the cinema mm. screen, like some sort of kid orgy. Mm. Yeah. Can't put that on. And the cosmic turtle. I'm like, oh, oh the, cosmic the cosmic turtle would be great. Yeah. I, I do. If it's done well, mm. that could very easily be done poorly. And I, I worry a little bit. I'm I, excited as fuck, but I am worried about where it's going to go. I'd be worried as well, splitting it out into three. And this is purely because of The Hobbit. They made The Hobbit into two. Mm. No, they made The Hobbit into three. Into... Was it yeah. three? Yeah. yeah. Three. And it yeah, was but horrific. Think about how it shouldn't have been one. The, yeah, the Hobbit three. book yeah. is compared to it. Yeah. yeah. True. I just, yeah. I know I, what you as mean, long as it, yeah. Mm. Harry Potter got split into two films, the last mm. book. Yeah. Yeah, that needs to get split into two films. I mean, I'm, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on the side of Harry Potter in this fight. So, what's your last one? My last one is this is it's not me looking forward to think the film being like, yes, this is going to be amazing. Mm. This is me looking forward to the film to see how much they fucking ruin it. Right. Mm. Okay. Pet Cemetery. Uh, uh, what do you think they're going to ruin it? Yeah. Well, the I've trailer was shit. Yeah. I've, n I've not seen the trailer and I've never seen the film. <gasps> and I've not read the book. <laughs> so we can do it if you want for another podcast. Fuck yes. Pet mm. Cemetery 1 and 2, double bill. There's two of them? Yes. <laughs> Has it got Edward Furlong in it from Terminator 2? Uh, I don't know. Oh. I definitely haven't seen the second one and I barely remember the first one. So the second one has got a scene in it that everyone remembers and sometimes it gets mixed mixed up between the first one and the second one and it's oh. the wolf in the rocking chair. <laughs> it's like a wolf face but the body of like an old lady and it's in a rocking chair and it's like... Oh, and okay. like the stepdad puts a kid's face on the... Um, it turns a, like a motorbike upside down like a cross the type thing mm. and then starts revving it up and then puts the kid's face on it oh right okay I thought you meant that it was just like sat on it <laughs> like waiting to just be stroked hi <laughs> <laughs> no no it's like it's like creepy um, the first one has got like some creepy old guy mm. in it that kind of reminds me of Dick Van Dyke yeah, it's don't amazing spoil it. um, we, I'm happy to watch it because I feel like it's one of those that I'm like I should have seen but never mm. have I own them both on DVD uh, I don't have a DVD player keeping it real yeah <laughs> but yeah like from seeing the trailer, they've kind of they've they've gone a weird way with it. Like in the trailer, there's kids wearing animal masks. Mm -hmm. Don't know where the fuck that's come from. They've gone the typical producer stupid way, where it's like some producers maybe heard of it and then they've used a load of data about what they think is people want to see. And then they've come out with something. It looks like, like kids already. in masks is scary. Yeah, and, yeah, and it, it looks like it's some sort of like. I mean, the the pet cemetery is somewhere like where kids used to like bury the <clears throat> the the pets and stuff. Mm. Cemetery is spelt with an S for one, mm. and so it was like a kid thing, but it was like based on an Indian burial ground and all sorts of other stuff. But this seems to have gone down the route of rather than it being kids trying to like bring like bury the the pets and stuff because they're sad about it this seems to like be trying to go down a route where it's like kids practicing fucking necromancy oh right okay mm. like burying the, the animals in this place and like bringing them back to life and having some sort of undead pet army and fucking shit up it just it it just seems to have gone down a completely wrong route to what it is and i just want to see how much they've ruined it or if it might be a good film if you mm. called it by something else oh yeah mm. so is it not based on the source material if they're not it doesn't look like it mm. Mm. that's a shame it's like you know like the the remake of evil dead 
Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I still haven't seen that, actually. A good film by itself, mm, yeah. but don't call it Evil Dead. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's proper full-on, like, gruesome, mm. like, harsh. I, I, feel, mm. I feel sorry for the lead actor in that. She gets put th- through some right shit. Oh, she, yeah. She's like, um, she's like a recovering drug addict or mm. something, and... It just looks like she had the hardest time on that. Like it was covered in blood. Yeah, and then mud, then kind of buried. Is she yeah. one bit? Evil Dead TV series was good. What the Ash versus? Yeah, is Ash it versus still going? Evil Dead. No, it no. Ended. I think they only had three seasons. But... Did it get cancelled or? Because I was thinking yeah. about watching that. There's two. I think there's two seasons on Netflix. Yeah, They're solid. It it and it gets better as it goes along. It really they get into the groove. It's just Evil Dead, yeah. basically. Yeah. Like original tongue in cheek. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Weird dolls fighting Bruce Campbell. <laughs> hmm. Sounds good. And it's got Xena in it. It has got Xena in warrior it. princess. Yeah. Mm. Obviously not playing Xena warrior princess. Mm. She plays like some head demon or yeah. something. Yeah. Shall we have a little mop up of what didn't quite make it? Yeah. Um, I um, almost went for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah. So the Quentin I. Tarantino mm. film, which is set with a backdrop of the the Tate murders mm. and that as a backdrop is I think the main character is like a washed up actor mm. and there's like murderings going on like brutal murders <laughs> and Roman Polanski the <coughs> pedophile rapist yeah, yeah. so mm-hmm. I mean I'm surprised this is this is going to be a great film because Tarantino but it also may be a thing that he does something stupid and pisses everyone off and while he says it's <laughs> his last so. film, it might be his last film because of the outcry over it. So I thought he said he was making 10. Is this his 10th? I, th- I, th- I, th- I thought this one was the one he said was his last one. Yeah. Uh, I but I don't know how ninth. many far in. Oh, okay. Yeah. But still, it, that, um, that's definitely one I'm looking forward to. Too. Should I say list. the other two? That yeah, I had. go for it. So I mean, the, the other two that I had were Joker. Yeah, that was okay. one of mine as well. Yeah, the mm. Joaquin Phoenix mm. and who's the director of that? Todd, Todd Phillips. Phillips, who made like the comedies. Yeah, like was Road it the Hangover, Trip, Hangover, Due Date, which I think Old is school. a good thing because normally someone who does comedies like Key and Peele mm. can really transition well into things like yeah. serious dramas and horrors. They really, it's that once you've if you've got a good uh, sensibility of timings for comedies mm. you can't you, you, you're normally pretty good at timings for other things as well yeah um, and then Shazam that was going to be one of mine as well yeah because the, the, mainly because the, the, ga- the main actor in that is I love him he's in a TV series called Chuck and he's really charming he's got so much charisma and the director did uh, Lights Out and he's a bit and of the a... kids in it as well what kid the kid the other kid who plays next to him What's he from? He's in it. He's oh, Eddie. in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's like the kids in the kids in it. Is it? Is it what? Is it? I was like, what? Yeah. I thought I was having a stroke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That guy's good in Chuck, though. Never yeah, I've Chuck. only seen a couple Never of episodes of it, but oh man, that's one of those series that if I have, if I can find the time to like cane off the whole series, I will because I love it. Never even heard of it. It's a. It's a. Shock nerd guy who gets a supercomputer stuck in his head so then like the the intelligence agency cia or whoever it is have to take him on missions because he's the only one with this one of a kind supercomputer and he knows all this information Hmm. but he's like a really nervous awkward nerd who's used used to just fixing people's machines he's a fallen dweeb yeah sounds good and it's good and they make loads of like little references where they'll bring up like oh what what have we got i've got a zoom and then one of his mates be like you haven't got a zoom he's like no of course i haven't i've got an ipod (laughs) and it's just i don't know it's it was prime nerd material back when it started hmm yeah. Um, are you pretty much had all of mine. The other one uh, I'm looking forward to is How to Train Your Dragon 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love those two films. I absolutely love it. Just, just uh, First one was good. Second one, I was like, yeah. oh, I liked the second one. I'm looking forward to what they do with it. And yeah, that, that, that's me, <laughs> Catty. So my other two were Hellboy. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Yes, I was I'm a bit worried by the... I'm just worried about... I worry a lot, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried <laughs> about taking Guillermo del Toro out of Hellboy. Mm. But I would we'll, have preferred we'll they finished Guillermo del Toro's trilogy because yeah. his yeah. were amazing. Mm. But it's going to be different to see someone else's take on it and it'd mm. be 
interesting. If they ruin it, I will find them and burn them. Yep. I'll be with you. Of the first two, is do you prefer the first one or the second one? Um, I think I prefer the first one. I don't mind... Is it the Golden Army, the second yeah. one? I don't mind some of the stuff in that, but... The first one's a better film. You don't prefer the second, do you? I'm always confused about it. I keep thinking... Of course the first one's better. And then I watch Golden Army and I'm like, I really love Golden Army. I'm with Katty. It's got nice bits in. And I like that the, they did all the fight scenes on trampolines. So when he's like, the guy from Bross is jumping around and like doing all his fights, he's on trampolines. Oh, really? That's mm. cool. Yeah. <laughs> so they put them in the floor. And your other? Um, my other is um, the new Rob Zombie film coming out, The Three from Hell. Oh, yeah. It's like a lead on from um, House of a Thousand House Corpses, of a Thousand Corpses mm. and fuck what, Devil's Rejects. Dev- yeah. That was the next one. Nothing to do with the Halloween no. thing that you did. No, no, no. It's um, the clown. I forgot what his name is now. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Captain something. I can't remember what the fuck his name is. Yeah, the guy with the, uh, with the makeup. Yeah. The, um, the him, um, Rob Zombie's wife. And she called like Moon or something. Some shite like that. And <laughs> um, the brother, the guy called Otis, I think he is in the film. No, I don't know. Um, you know, in House of a Thousand Corpses. I saw them both at the cinema when they came out and I've never seen them since. Oh, Devil's Rejects. The one where they're playing um, Freebird right at the end and they're getting shot up. Bloody hell, I can't remember. I think it's Devil's Rejects. <laughs> um, it's just them three. The three that escape, basically. Mm. So it's Otis is... Rob Zombie's wife and Captain Spaulding, that's what his name oh, is. Oh, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was just about them. Right. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I, I, I like the first two, like House of a Thousand Cops was rough. <laughs> um, not a lot of people know about it because it's rough. <laughs> and then obviously Devil's Reject, because House of a Thousand Cops only got a limited cinema, cinema release. Um, and Devil's then, Rejects mm. the one where he takes a guy's skin off and makes his wife or girlfriend wear it as a mask. I don't know if that's the first one no. or Devil's I'm Rejects, but I know Devil's Rejects came out in the cinema properly, mm. like everywhere, but House of a Thousand Corpses didn't. So I'm just kind of interested to see where, where this one goes, whether it's going to go back to good old Rob Zombie, brutal, I don't give a fuck whether this is going to make mm. me money or not. I just want to make a film because I want to make a film or whether he's just going to go down the devil's reject route. So he doesn't need the money, does he? What no. did you think of his Halloween uh, two films that he did? I have only seen too. the first one. Hmm. And I thought, it, once again, it's it's okay by itself if you don't call it Halloween. Yeah. Hmm. So just a different mask. And yeah. A, hmm. Like a different kind of supernaturally murdery type guy because i i enjoyed the storyline at the beginning with the kid and the the white horse and stuff like that i i i enjoyed that and i enjoyed mm. like the the progression of it and how he just was just a fucked guy but don't call it halloween mm. yeah mm. yeah right okay so 2019's looking like a good year got some good things to to look forward to we didn't even mention captain marvel but yeah, yeah. glass all glass, yeah, which yeah. is like next week. It, it um, was really hard whittling them down. Yeah, it was. Captain yeah. Marvel Some was good on my stuff. list right up until the end. Mm. And but I'm also gutted that my list. And even looking through, I couldn't think of anything. But there's a, it's a bit. There's no like. I'm glad you got like the Rob Zombie on where. There's none that I, I didn't or like isn't too. All mine are too mainstream, I think. And I've, mm. I haven't been watching as many yeah, but I feel, weird films. I feel or, like the weird ones will catch us up. Okay. I feel like halfway through the year, they'll be like, oh, don't you know Wes Anderson's got a new film coming out next month? And you're like, oh, right. Mm. And, or like Martin McDonough will drop a new film on us or something weird like that. And you're like, oh, cool. Yeah. It, it's always stuff like the Marvel stuff and the Disney stuff that mm. will get, it'll get a trailer like a year before we the release and you'll know Lion about King, it. Did we? Oh, Dumbo. All right, like, All right, I want to see yeah. Will Smith blued up. Mm. <laughs> mm. Is that not PC? Blue in all. I think... <laughs> Against Smurfs. We should yeah. do one... We should do an episode where we catch up on the previous trailer. We've done two trailer um, mm. episodes last year. And we should do an episode where we what we talk about briefly all of those films. And then we should do another episode at the next year when we 
to catch up on what we, we might thought be about dead all next these year. films. Yeah, and, I'm planning on it. And we should do an episode when we're dead talking about what that's like and if we could make a film out of it. <laughs> right, look forward to that. Um, so that's it for this episode. Um, until next time. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Spoiled Milk Movie Podcast, you pieces of fucking shit.